Um, you you mentioned something I want to touch on. Th this society we live in, it is it is so politically correct. Everybody's, I mean, it, it started off be, being woke started off as a good thing. But where it has morphed into, you damn near can't do anything. You can't say anything. You can't have opposing views about anything. How, how you're a comedian. You, you guys, y'all go against the grain. You talk about things that are taboo. And y'all are not afraid to touch on things that people only think but would never say. How, how has this society even impacted you being a comedian? Well, you know, I, I, I do. I am very conscious now to give a disclaimer before I start my comedy. You know, uh, uh, a lot of my comedy I do uh, at a corporate level. I work for Carnival, Cruise Lines. I do a lot of corporate gigs. And in nightclubs, you're, you're pretty much safe. You can just, you know, pin back because people know they're coming to a rated R. But when you're doing it uh, in a place of business where people aren't necessarily invited, they're there and they decide to go as a part of this function, you know, it is incumbent. I feel I always let people know now, hey, if you're easily offended, if you don't realize that this is comedy, if you take things literal, this is not the show for you. So it's sad that we've come to that point where you have to give that disclaimer, but we have come to that point. And I always say, when you silence comedians, when comedians aren't able to talk about what they want to talk about, then we've truly lost freedom of speech because you're right, everybody else is, has become censored. And that goes back to my point. You hit it the nail on the head with being politically correct. We're so politically correct that whenever we find out somebody used to be human, we're disappointed. We don't want to support that person anymore. And I, I, I think we, we've got to move away from that. We've got to allow people to be themselves. And so, you know, that's why I am with my stand-up comedy. I let people know, hey, I'm going to talk about fat women. I'm going to talk about, you know, black people. I'm going to talk about white people. I'm going to talk about this. And if you if you easily offended, don't, don't watch my set. I mean, that, that's where I am. Is, is, is there anything that you personally have excluded from your set? No, or you know, topics the only, you don't touch? The, yeah, you know, the only time I'm censored, man, is my wife censors me. Like, if I go too far in our relationship, if I start talking about too much of our personal business, which, by the way, I love talking about. You know, that, <laughs> that's, that's the person, hey, hey, you going too far. I don't want people to know this, because a lot of my comedy is about my marriage and about being married and stuff like that. And uh, so it's all good. And, you know, in fact, I, I, I sometimes use that to, to persuade my wife, hey, look, if we don't do this, I'm gonna talk about it on stage now. I mean, cause this, you know, you know, you, you said that you, you can only have sex, you know, once every two weeks, I gotta tell the people about that. You got, you know, so that's the only person that really senses me is my wife. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.